the small brahmana boy again continued to reply in the same way he said bali you are ready to give me more but i do not desire anything more if i ask anything more that would be only out of my greed bali told him i can give you an entire island an entire continent i can give you an entire planet and this brahmana said that i don't need all these things and if i really desire this there's no end to greed you may give me an island you give me give me a planet and if i am still greedy even a planet wouldn't satisfy my greed i would want many more planets so there is no end to greed there is no end to accumulation that is why it is said one of the principles of bhakti is something which destroys bhakti sorry is atyahara atyahara is collecting more than necessary we all need some things something to maintain our physical body because with this physical body we have to render devotional service so something is required but we should not aspire for needs which are not necessary they all come under the category of atyahara means collecting more than necessary because once we do that then there as bali was saying as uh, the brahmana boy was saying i'm sorry there is no end to greed you may possess 10 you may want 20 then when you possess 20 you want 40 when you possess for like that there is no end to it and practically we are seeing in today's world how many boys many people possess so much more there was a very interesting observation i was meeting one dean dean of student affairs of a north indian university a very popular university and we were just talking something about spiritual life so she made a very interesting observation she was telling that in today's world when students pass out of college typically an it engineer or a it professional their starting salary is much more than the last drawn salary of their parents of their father but still their father is more happy than he although his salary the first drawn salary is more than the father's last drawn salary he is more dissatisfied than his father so this is a classic example of there is no end to desire to possessions to greed that is why spiritual life teaches us how to be content with whatever we have whatever we have is what krishna has given us that is the understanding and we should be satisfied with that we should pray to krishna we should always be thinking we have at least this much there are others who don't even have this much so krishna has really blessed me and whatever position i am in is by the mercy of the lord and everything is destined this is what is there in my destiny and i should learn to live happy and satisfied with whatever i have there are many many examples in the scriptures